Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Journey of the Awakened Heart. I'm Jeff Fasano, author of my book, Journey of the Awakened Heart, discovering who you are and why you are here, the teachings of Archangel Michael. And I'm also the co-founder of the Angel News Network. And I welcome you to my third installment of this video series that I've uh, decided to bring with you to share with you uh, and the world the teachings of Archangel Michael. And uh, today I'd like to talk to you about being alone, being with yourself, loving, honoring, and valuing yourself when you are alone, when you are alone in your life. So what I'd like each and every one of you to do today, the first exercise that comes to me right away, is to ask you to close your eyes, go within, and then breathe deeply into your heart and when you come back, write down your definition of alone, or being alone, or aloneness, directly from your heart. What comes to you right away when you hear the word alone? Am I alone? And write down that definition, because that definition will show you in many ways where you are in your life when you're alone in your life. What alone may mean to you what you have been conditioned that being alone is. Perhaps you're not successful in life. And with that, with being alone and finding out for yourself uh, what that definition is, and also being with the feelings that come up. So um, are you alone in your life right now? And do you enjoy being with you when you are alone? It goes hand in hand with looking at your relationships in your life as well. Looking at um, why you are in the relationships that you are in. Why it is important for you to be with others? Are you being with others in these relationships because they enhance your life? Because they raise your resonance and vibration? Because they support your highest good and bring you joy and fulfillment in your life? Or are you still in relationships in your life, quite possibly uh, a personal relationship, where in some way, shape, or form, you're avoiding being alone? You're frightened to be alone. And this goes hand in hand with the mirror exercise that we brought you the last time, looking directly into your eyes and asking yourself, how much do I love me? Do I enjoy being with me? Do I enjoy the company of myself? Do I enjoy hanging out with myself? Do I have joy and fulfillment when I'm with myself? Because the only way in which, in many ways, that you can have wonderful relationships with others is to see the relationship that you're having with yourself. Because it's important to know that the relationship that you're having your, with yourself is a direct correspondence to the relationship you're having with others. The relationship that you're having with yourself is mirrored back to you in the relationship that you're having with others. So I bring this to you at this time to look at your relationships, see where you are alone in your life, and do you enjoy yourself with being alone in your life? So it is important to move through this aspect or this phase or this, these exercises so you can see what is really, really important to you in your life to uh, enhance your life and create your life outside of yourself. So it is important to now move within, move into the depth and breadth of your heart space, close your eyes and ask yourself, do I enjoy being alone? Do I fill up my time, even when I am alone, to distract myself from being alone? Do I fill up my time when I'm alone to distract myself from being alone? And all the feelings that come up. This is very, very important as you move into the next step or the next phase of loving, honoring, and valuing you. So loving, honoring, and valuing you has a direct correlation to being alone or being with yourself. It is important now to honor and value your aloneness in life. 
Are you fulfilled when you are alone? Or are you distracting yourself when you are alone? So this is a very simple, um, short, brief exercise to do because it will bring your, a greater awareness into the depth and breadth of you, into the lovingness of you. So within this, when you are alone, ask yourself, how much do I love me to give me what I need that will fulfill me? So what we ask you to do is be alone for a while. Be alone with yourself for a while. Be alone one hour each day. Take time for yourself one hour each day for yourself and see what transpires in that one hour in quietness of being alone. In order for each and every one of us to have successful, loving, abundant, fulfilling relationships outside of ourselves. It is about moving within and loving, honor, and value ourselves and being alone with ourselves. Not distracting ourselves from ourselves, but being alone with ourselves. So move within. Honor, value, and love you. Be alone. Be with yourself. Create a journal when you are alone to write down what is coming up for you. Am I enjoying being alone? Am I frightened to be alone? Do I need relationships outside of myself to complete me? Because now it is about moving within and seeing the fullness of you, the greatness of you that enhances other people's lives as well. But the only way in which you will truly know that is moving within and being alone with yourself each day for one hour and see how that feels. See the feelings that come up when you are alone and write down each and every day. And what we ask you to do in this in many ways is make a date for yourself each day one hour each day, I will be alone with myself each day. Write it down in your calendar book. I, for this day, at four o'clock each day, I will be alone with myself for one hour. And see if you keep that date with yourself. This is another step of moving within to love, honor, and value you. I'm alone. I enjoy being alone. So once again, the exercise is move within, place your hands over your heart, breathe deep into your heart space, and ask yourself the question, what does alone mean to me? Open your eyes, spontaneously write down whatever comes to you for as long as you need to write that down. Write everything about being alone. And you will see the next steps you need to take to be alone and love, honor, value, enjoy yourself when you're by yourself. So until next time, dear ones, peace and blessings.